So then the logic is, okay, you know what, let's get this group together. So regulators and exchanges and create a sort of platform in which we co-develop together new tools in order to combat market manipulation. The potential applicability of particle physics data to financial markets, I have to admit, is one that hadn't occurred to me. Uh, so it's very interesting to see that there's a crossover. Uh, again, the most interesting part, I think, is that definitely the big data challenges. The, it's definitely on a different scale here at CERN, and being able to talk directly with the, the people who are responsible for capturing that data, saving it, and making sense of it was fantastic. From the looks of it now, just increases our ability to um, analyze the market, visualize the market, get a grasp on uh, things we couldn't see before. I really hope that we can um, really make really effective uh, market surveillance tools, um, but also hopefully, and it might be a bit ambitious, but really refine the legal framework. And I hope that with the tools and the things that we discover, we make it more narrow also, so it's uh, clearer to market participants what is allowed to do and what isn't. So I hope that we can have a tool that can first detect anomalies, market anomalies, and then secondly, that it can classify whether this anomaly is market manipulation or not. We are working now with Stan on a, what, we, what we call an agent-based modeling procedure. So we recreate financial markets using Stan technology, and we are going to use that simulated financial market in order to test our tools. So in that financial market, we could put agents that are bad, that are spoofing. At the same time, we can put in regulators in that financial market and see how they interact. Uh, I had no idea that we could work so closely together okay. at all my field, financial economics, and particle physics is so far apart, we can find common ground and a common language, and together uh, I think we can be pretty successful.